Hey everyone, it's Teresa with Yellow Daisy. Welcome back to our channel. Today I am so excited to be bringing you along with me on this project. I found this stool at an estate sale for one dollar. And you can see why it was only a dollar. It is in pretty rough shape. But I knew that with a little bit of paint and some new fabric, I could make this a really cute stool for my entryway. The first thing that I needed to do was to take the cushion off of the stool and there were some uh, really good screws in that cushion so I did save the four screws for my new cushion. And as you can see that wood was all cracked and like disintegrating. And then I took some TSP and wiped the whole stool down to get all the grime and kind of break up that shellac that was on the finish of that stool. And now that the stool is clean, it's time for painting. So what I did was I made some chalk paint using plaster of Paris, a little bit of water, and then I mixed my paint inside of the plaster of Paris mixture. The paint that I'm using is by Sherwin-Williams. I had gone into their store and they had a cart with some mist-tinted paint, so I just had them mix up a color for me for some other projects that I'm working on in the house. So I already had this paint. I usually don't paint on my kitchen table, but this day it was raining off and on all day, so I had to bring this project in and paint inside.
this DIY chalk paint that I made up covered really well. Um, I did end up doing two coats on this stool. And then I also, and I didn't show this, I put clear polycrylic over the paint the next day once it was dry. Once I was done painting the stool, it was time to make the new cushion. And all I did was measured the existing cushion and then cut out a piece of half inch particle board um, the same size and then here I'm just cutting some foam that I already had this fabric that I'm using is actually from Walmart and it's a striped ticking and it's like a gray and white striped I've had it for a while. I was going to cover a pillow and I never got to that project. So I just uh, ended up using that for this stool. When I'm doing any kind of like cushion covers, I like to anchor the fabric on either side of the board just so that I can um, turn it over and make sure that my stripes or my pattern is where it needs to be and it's straight. And I think the toughest or the most challenging part of any type of cushion is the corners, making sure that both sides are nice and flat once you fold it. Um, so that's what I'm doing here is I'm just making sure that everything is, you know, square and flat all the way around. And here it is, all freshly painted and new stripe ticking fabric on it. It turned out so good. I can't wait for you to see what it looks like um, in my entryway. So here we are at my entry. That's my front door. And then this is the stairs and my plant that I currently have. And this is where I wanted the stool to be placed. I just love it there. It fits perfectly and it just really goes well with everything else that I have going on in my um, foyer. Guys, 
guys, I hope you like this DIY in that it kind of lets you see to kind of look past the cosmetic look of an item and if you can envision new paint or fabric or reusing something then give it a shot you know for a dollar i think it turned out really good i would love for you if you're not already subscribed to hit that subscribe button and then also the notification bell down below thanks for stopping by and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye